My name is Danielle Steele Williams, and my husband, Keith Williams, served 14 years in federal prison. My kids are now 16 and 13. And when my husband was incarcerated, I was pregnant with my youngest son, and my daughter was two and a half years old. I've always made my husband a part of their lives um, just by including him in their daily schedule. Um, we kind of had a routine when he would call. I would just inform him of the things that were going on. So, you know, what I learned, um, being that my children were so young, my child, my oldest daughter was two years old. So <laughs> I talked to her on that level. You know, your dad has made a bad decision and this is where he is and we're gonna go see him. I know some parents actually don't feel like they should take their child to that environment. But um, we felt it was best for both of them, you know, for, for all of us. That's what we did. I think it's best to just be honest because children um, have a different way of interpreting things. And they actually understand more than we realize. They actually had moments of where they were upset and did not understand, like, well, why did he do these things? Um, did he choose us or, or, or choose what he decided to do over them? But we had very just honest and candid conversation at busy. You know, um, I would let him know their thoughts. And he kind of, he not kind of, he would literally just sit there and talk to them about this is what led me to these decisions. So once he was able to sit down and talk to them and, and go beneath and let him know his story, I think that helped. I would encourage um, counseling, especially if there's if there's just conflict that can't be resolved, um, because we we never really know what children are thinking. Sometimes they present themselves like they're okay and and they're not. Um, they're angry inside. To be honest, I feel like just for preventive measures, I still would like for my family to go through it. When my kids were younger, I was the one, um, you know, that kept things going because they're younger. So they couldn't email on their own or they couldn't write letters on their own. So I would have to sit down with them and, and write or, you know, when their dad would call, I put them on the phone. But as they got older and they're able to write on their own and they're able to email on their own, and they're able to talk to him on their own. <laughs> they got into their own teenage life and he took it personal. <laughs> so for him, his feelings are hurt. So now his feelings are hurt and he doesn't reach, wanna reach out because he doesn't want his feelings hurt. And it's like, well, you have to reach out. <laughs> so, so I was the mediator in, in between them, you know, so, the parent has to be the one to encourage the relationship, no matter how busy it gets on the outside uh, for the family. You know, have you emailed your dad today? Just email him and speak and see how he's doing. You know, things like that. And um, I think those are the things that just helped us along the way. The demands of the person on the inside can become a lot. And then you have the demands of your children. <laughs> but your children are here and and you just you can't ignore your children uh, you're not going to ignore your husband but just keeping it real <laughs> you know how the prison the prison system moves anyway <laughs> they move at turtle pace <laughs> so do what you have to do to kind of pacify take care of your kids but if you need me to do this today, I may get to it. I may not, you know, um, let's get it done by, the, I, I'll try to have it done by the end of the week. And I, I say women because that's what I am, but I, I do realize there are men who are out here and there are uh, significant others on the inside. Another thing, uh, one particular incident I can remember uh, is when my daughter turned uh, I think I want to say 16, 15 or 16. That's the age when teenagers want to start dating. <laughs> and I actually had to sit my children down because my daughter and my son 
teamed up against me. <laughs> and they wanted me to just make the decision to let her start dating. But I had to let them know that, you know, your father is not here physically, but we are married. That is your father. And we make mutual decisions. So we made our decision together. And that's what we went with. And that's just one example. But um, that's how we kept him involved. And um, that's how we stayed on the same page throughout the sentence. We just made decisions together and kept, you know, kept him informed along the way.